Hey everyone, here's an up and coming channel I wanted to let you know about. It's called Pennsylvania Treasures on YouTube. I want you to go check this guy out. He's a young fella. He got started on YouTube about six months ago, and he is very passionate about this hobby. So let's go support this guy. Welcome him into the metal detecting community on YouTube. Pennsylvania Treasures, this week's shout out of the week. Hey everybody, it's Matt with Tar Heel Digging. I'm out in the woods today here. This is a woods that I've pounded pretty hard. But you can see a couple of old foundations back here. There's some rocks. Uh, there's some brick back over here covered in moss. It looks like that might have been where the chimney was standing. It's all piled up now. Then there's another pile over there. You can see the sun shining on it right there. Another pile there. So this has been a good spot to me in the past. And I'm just back in here working real slow in two-tone ferris with the E-Track. Um, Got a decent signal here. I want you to listen to it. There's a lot of iron back in here, um, but right there. Right there's a good signal. Showing up pretty deep, too, so I'm curious to see what this is. Well, I'll clear away the pine straw and we'll take a look. Stay tuned. Okay, I think I'm down to it. Got the hole popped here. And I'm seeing something right down here. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's kind of at an angle. All right, what have we here? It's round, but it's really light. It feels like a like a dog tag or a token or something. Really light, like aluminum. Hmm. Yeah, can't see anything on it yet. Looking like a dog tag, though. All right, we'll see if we can clean it up a little bit. Well, whenever I come out here in the woods, guys, I always bring my backpack and some water and a couple toothbrushes and things like that. And that's kind of one, one of the reasons why, too. Uh, I got done cleaning this up a little bit. It's definitely aluminum. It might look like silver, and it's definitely the size of a quarter. Uh, but you can see where the edge is a little bit reeded. I think it's play money. At this point, I think it's play money. It might be an old token, but uh, I don't know. I'm thinking it's play money. Here's the back side. You can see what looks to be an eagle in the middle. Can you see that? I don't know. I'm going to clean it up a little bit further, but I think it's just play money. Again, it looks silver, but it's not. It's really light. It's light as a feather. Pretty cool either way. All right, on to the next. Just another view of the foundations that I'm hunting today back here, guys. It's a beautiful day. I've already pulled one wood tick off of me, so it's that time of the year, I guess. We go from seven inches of snow to wood tick season. But anyhow, beautiful rock pile right here, and then another one right next to it. Yeah, it's really thick back here and full of iron, but I'm having a ball. It's it's so much fun being back in here. These these old houses were once standing back in the 1800s. Uh, I have found a lot of Civil War well <laughs> Civil War relics. <laughs> All right, Elmer Fudd, get it out. <laughs> Civil War relics in this area. Uh, so I know these homes were back in here in the mid 1800s. So. Pretty cool. Lots of history here, gang. Stay tuned. Right up next to this old rock foundation here, guys, and look what I just dug. Just gave a strong signal. It was only down about four inches, but look at this. Old axe head. Is that cool or what? That's awesome. We'll clean it up a little bit. Take it on out of here. That's pretty cool. Nice old relic. Okay, so I'm detecting back in here, right up next to this pile of rock. Just an old foundation. Um, been back in here for a lot of years. Um, anyhow, I'm right up next to this thing. Iron all over the place in the ground. I got a decent signal right down here. Cleared away the brush, and look what I see here. That's an old bottle. Look at that. It's underneath the roots there. I think I see a seam in it right here. So it may not be too old. I don't know if I can do this with one hand. Probably should have my gloves on anyway. Yeah. Let me get my gloves on and I'll dig this bottle out of here to see what we've got. Cool. Okay, I got it out to the point where it's moving here. Took my glove off again. It's an old milk jar. Look at that. One pint, says right there. No, one quart. One quart. 
Good old fashioned milk jar. It's probably the signal that I heard down here was the uh, the cap for it. So it says Long Meadow. I'll have to look that up. Thing is whole. It's complete. Long metal. Long metal, one quart. Cool. Boy, it's in nice shape. Sweet. We'll take that out with us. Okay, there's the foundation over there, not far from where I found that milk jug. Got a decent signal right down here, kind of a quarter signal, but it was a small target, so I dug it. And I've never found one of these before. <laughs> it looks like a piece of measuring tape. See uh, like eighth inch markings on it, and there's a 68, 67 there. Some kind of measuring tape. Pretty cool. Here's a little better look at some of these old foundation rocks back here, guys. Look at that. Now, it might be a chimney collapse, but I don't know. Those rocks are awfully big. You cellar hole experts might be able to shed some light on that for me. There's another pile right back there, too. I don't know if you can see that. But two piles of rocks back here. And definitely a home site. A lot of iron in the ground. I've got some old roofing metal down here. Cool old place. A lot of red brick. Tough to hunt though. Tough to hunt back here. But it's worth it. Okay, right down in that hole, gang, I got a nickel signal. A deep, deep nickel signal. So I dug it. It was about five inches down. And I pulled this out. First I thought it was going to be a little crazy fish hook. But I think it's, it's kind of ornate. It might be like an earring or something. Be curious to see what that looks like when I clean it up. Pretty cool though. Definitely old, whatever it is. Okay, down in that hole, about four inches, I got a solid 927. Kind of a weird number, but I dug it and came up with this. Appears to be a button. I don't think it's real old. The back might have, uh, might have been iron. Hard to tell, though. All right, we'll clean it up. Okay, it looks like I've come across a little dump out here. Here's uh, some large metal objects over there. Another one of those milk bottles. I'll have to go over and see if that's the same brand. Here's a large jar here. Another bottle there. And I was just kind of poking my way along here with the shovel. And I heard something glass. There's an old brown bottle there. So, might spend some time and dig a few of these up and see what we've got here. There's an old screw top. There's a screw top bottle right there. What's that say on it? It's got a little dude on there with a fish on his back. Can you see that? That is pretty cool. That's a little chipped up here. Nothing on the other side, otherwise it's whole. Wow. Alright, well, might have some bottles to take home today. That is pretty cool. Let's see what these two bottles are here. Looks like I should be able to just lift them. Uh, doesn't look like a mark on that one. I kind of like the shape though. It's pretty neat. Alright, let's see what this one is. Looks like an old cur jar. Yeah, look at that. It's an old ball jar. That's a big one too. That's like a half gallon. It's all complete. Not too terribly old. Let's go back here and grab that milk bottle and see what it is. See, there's, there's a lot of bottles back here, guys. Look at this. There's another one here. It's a little one. Yeah, it's not too terribly old. Whoop. Another one here. That's nah, just the top. And here's that milk jar. Yep, same brand. Long Meadow. Well, this could be fun. There's probably a lot of stuff here. I'm just going to poke around real lightly with my shovel. See how many bottles are around. Stay tuned. There's one with a cap still screwed on. And a lot of liquid inside. 
<laughs> looks like liquid anyway. I don't know. Pretty scary looking. But let's say 33 full quart, 33. Let's see what it says on the bottom here. It says Hood Chemical Company Incorporated, Pittsburgh, PA. Well, there you go, Keith K. From the homeland. There's some more shards over here. Some of these are starting to get pretty busted up. That's a pretty cool looking one there. Let's see if I can get that out in one piece. Oh, always gotta wear gloves when you're doing this, guys. Oh, yeah. There we go. Look at that. That's cool. Wow. That's a screw cap. Doesn't say anything on the sides or the bottom. That's pretty cool looking right there. If any of you guys uh, can help me identify these, let me know. Okay, I'm just outside the edge of the woods here and kind of hunting my way back to the car. Hit a decent signal. I thought I'd dig it. It was only two inches down. Turns out to be a real nice little musket ball. Pretty cool. We'll take it. Nice way to end the day. Well, I thought I was going to end the day with that signal. A little musket ball right over there. Came about six feet over here. Got another decent signal. And again, pretty shallow. And I just unearthed something right here. See what that is? It looks like a ring to me. And it's all busted up. But it's an old one. I don't know if that's a ring or not, but it might be a might be a cufflink or something too. It's like it's monogrammed. I guess that's either an M or a W. Probably an M, huh? What do you think? All right, it's a cool piece. We'll take it. Okay, welcome to the Paper Towel Wrap-Up, brought to you by Bounty. Um, had a lot of fun out there today, guys. Didn't find anything too stunning, but it was a lot of fun. I just want to go over a few finds here real quick. I did find uh, a little cartridge here, a couple pieces of modern lead. This is a little musket ball that I found. This is a reed from a, a pump organ, otherwise known as a squeeze box down here. Those are always cool to find. And got this real nice horse tack buckle. It's in pretty good shape. Not too terribly old. Probably turn of the century. A lot of these items date to right around 1900. Check this one out. This is that measuring tape. And if you look, there's a patent date on there that I didn't notice before. 12-2-13. Uh, and that's 1913, folks. Not 2013. That was kind of neat. I think it's just aluminum. Uh, pottery shard. There was a lot, of, uh, a lot of glass in the ground. And that bottle dump was pretty cool, too. Hey, check out this... Uh, I think it's an earring, but I'm not positive. Um, let's see if I can get it to focus here, but in the center of this earring, there's still some gold gild left. I don't know if you can see it or not. Just tiny little specks. So it was plated at one time. Here's this little ring. This is kind of like a wraparound ring, just a cheapie, but it's old. And it's monogrammed there with the letter M. Quite a bit of detail on it. I like finding these old rings like that. Boy, do they have a story to tell, I'm sure. Here's one that I didn't get on camera. This one had a setting in it at some point. Looked around for the stone, but couldn't find anything. Always nice to find these old, old rings, these brass rings. Uh, I did find one wheat penny, and this is a 1920. Hard to see the date on it, but it is a 1920. Um, found a couple of brass pieces here. I think they're clock parts, and then this old button just has an old rusted back on it. There's not much to it, but I thought I'd show it in the wrap-up anyway. Hey guys, the coolest find is this one right here. And I don't know, maybe some of you have already identified what this is. I thought for sure it was going to be play money because it's made out of aluminum. But if you look right there, you can see the big 50, the 5-0, and it's in rough shape. It's holed at the top. It's called a Reichsfennig. It's a 50 Reichsfennig, and it's a German coin. Now, check out this side. Remember when I scraped that away and I thought I could see an eagle? Well, that's exactly what it is. And then there's a date down on the bottom. Let's see if you can see it. 
1944. And right above that, the German Nazi swastika. How about that? A German coin from the Nazi era. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. So it's a 50 Reichsfennig, 1944. It was minted, the, the mint mark is a, a D on the back, which means it was minted in Munich. I did a little research and found that Munich fell to the Allies in April of 1945. So this coin probably wasn't in circulation very long. If it was minted in 1944. And it's hard to, hard to believe they minted 4.4 million of these coins while they were fighting a war on two fronts. Just amazing. Think of the history of that coin. Probably brought back by an American soldier and is obviously holed on the top, so he may have may have worn it or, or something. Who knows? But really turned out to be a cool find. Certainly the find of the day. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope your snow is melting up in the northeast, man. It's it's a lot of snow to melt, I know. Well take care everybody and thanks for watching. <laughs>